Welcome back to part four of this little project. Um, putting a carving an eagle on the ivory pistol grip, and uh, I wanted to get a little bit ahead so that I could show you more things in a short amount of time. Um, so what I have done since last we spoke was I carved away <clears throat> all the background and I smoothed it down as I demonstrated earlier with the, um, this little knife that scraped it down and then sanded it and, uh, you know, did a real, you know, careful job getting in between all the little tight spots like in the ear and everything. So uh, it's a little, little details that matter. So I got the background all sanded down and then I carved the feathers on this wing and I've since also oiled, um, not oiled them, but inked them with um, the walnut tea that I use. And that just kind of brings up all the details that you put into it. Um, so what I wanted to show you is um, I stepped down the different layers of the feathering on the wing first. And I, to do that, I use my little plow here, Baron. And um, hopefully stay in focus here <laughs> or in the screen. This cuts a nice deep line. that then um, I use this knife again to uh, actually carve away the this layer In this particular piece of ivory, the way it's been cut and everything, and the way the grain lays, it scrapes cleaner if I head down towards the butt end of it, um, like this. You can actually hear the difference. It cuts smoother and doesn't dig in as much. Doesn't leave me a lot to hang on to, but... Sometimes, um, with the small projects like this, I'll actually screw them right to a, a piece of wood or something that I can hang on to better, but this is working out okay for now. So this uh, levels it off nice. in the shadows but so that's that and then I wanted to do a little bit of actual feather work so I've got um, where I've scraped it down I've lost some of my line so I'm gonna just put that back you would be amazed at how quickly you can get off course you don't have a little reminder where you're heading. All right, that ought to keep me honest. So again, with a little burn, I plow my way through. in a minute.
This tool cuts cleanly uh, and it doesn't seem to like uh, run away. You know, some, I got the angle right so it digs in proper, not too much. It doesn't ski out of the groove and take off on me. Ordinarily, I'd cut them all in before I moved on to the next phase, but in the spirit of get on with it, I'm going to get back uh, and do the feather here. Um, video might find this thing screwed to a piece of wood. <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't come across like fingernails on chalkboard to, in the translation. challenging trying to keep it in frame here muddle through all right so these guys kind of done clean that up Show you the full deal on the oops on the feathers. So again, the most important tool. First line's easy.
in. Go back to her. Where'd she go? There. <clears throat> Be really careful not to knock my quill off. Pretty good. So the next part of doing the feather is to put the fletching in. And I used uh, this little knife that I made out of a, guess what, <laughs> a file. Um, and it uh, has a nice hook to it, you know, a nice angle. So it really digs in nice and tracks well and everything. I sharpened this blade down really careful um, before I started these feathers to ensure that it, uh, the cutting edge was straight and went right down to a nice clean point at the tip. And that's what's uh, digging in here. Sometimes you have to hold the thing in the light to see where you've been, where you need to go back to. <clears throat> okay, so that's pretty good on the fletching many times. Um, feathers will, well, all that fletching is held together. Each piece, each strand of it is held together almost like Velcro, but sometimes they come apart and they leave a little, uh, gap or a, look like a crack or something in the fletching. So I go back with my, my little plow here and, uh, Throw a few of those in. There goes my door alarm. <clears throat> so anyway, then Apply a little of 
this. Bit of the sink. Is it kind of inked in and then it take the steel wool? And clean off the surface with that. So, like I said, ordinarily I'd do everything first, you know, all the feathering and then go back and do all the, the um, fletching and then the um, inking and everything. But I just want to show you guys how it kind of happens. And uh, hopefully if you're doing something like this, it'll help you. Uh, anyway, thanks for following along. We'll see you on the next video.